Hi, this is your Sabdul Bharti and we are here at CubeCon in Cloudy Con in Salt Lake City, Utah. And today we have with us Sayam Parak, Principal Developer Advocate at Loft Labs. Sayam, it's great to have you back on the show. Yeah, it's uh, glad to be back and talking to you again. I would like to talk a bit about this event. You folks made announcements here. You have a great presence. Your booth size is growing every year which reflects the growth of the company itself. So I want to hear from you, your experience here at KubeCon from Loft Lens. KubeCon has always been an amazing conference. First, it's the community-focused conference. Yes, there are a lot of innovation and booths uh, which are there to showcase what new stuff they are working on. Uh, and that's what we are also here showcasing what new stuff we are working on. We launched the V Cluster Cloud. Uh, we got the... Uh, open source version 021 of V cluster out and also the new platform uh, version upgrade with a lot of cool features, CRD syncing and whatnot. Uh, overall, the presence at the booth was tremendous. We saw a huge rise in the number of people coming in to understand multi-tenancy, uh, where it fits in the platform engineering space, uh, what is multi-tenancy and how vCluster helps them to solve the multi-tenancy problem. Um, and we had a lot of great conversations, uh, book signings. Uh, then Lucas, uh, Denise and myself had a few sessions at KubeCon as well, which are over. Uh, and we are happy, all the sessions went good. So we had the, the Platform Engineering Day uh, that we did as the sponsors as well. And we had a talk at ArgoCon and then uh, at VasmCon and the main KubeCon. So good presence at speaking and sharing the stuff that we have been learning, implementing uh, with the audience and also sharing what uh, we have uh, from the vCluster side of things. Can you talk about uh why suddenly they, I mean, we have been talking about platform engineering for a bit now, but suddenly there is a lot of discussion about platform engineering. It is becoming a hot topic. Maybe we always keep looking for the next hot topic, like Kubernetes was hot for a bit. Now everybody wants it to be boring, so we have to look for the next shiny object, chat GPT, LLMs, Vardash. So talk a bit about what is going on with platform engineering. Yeah, uh, overall, the term platform engineering, uh, I mean, people can, uh, you know, say that it's it's the marketing term uh, because there has to be, like you said, some term out there. Uh, but behind the scene principles, if you see, platform engineering was done way before uh, platforms were there. Like you are using all the platforms from Netflix, from whatnot. Those are platforms like you are the end users of that and not the creators of that. But in the end, these are the platforms. Uh, now, what we are trying to build uh, as part of the cloud native ecosystem that I see is uh, we have these small, small tools and we are naming them uh, like, you know, we had we had these systems. We had now Kubernetes coming in. So we named the technology. So we had platform engineering. Now we are naming the tools that fit in that space uh, like backstage and, you know, some of the tooling. And then now vCluster also becomes an important uh, piece that fits the puzzle perfectly of request an API, get a Kubernetes cluster, get a Kubernetes virtual cluster using vCluster, and then you are handed over the kubeconfig file that you can access and deploy your workloads to. Um, at KubeCon, we are seeing a rise in the uh, overall co-located space, but especially the platform engineering um, con, the platform con or platform engineering con was a pretty uh, full house uh, and people were sharing their insights. There's a new platform engineering working group under CNCF. They are trying to bring up with the new standards and uh, the white paper and all that stuff. So I think uh, it's the space is growing and uh, that's what we are trying to uh, solve uh, the challenges of uh, multi-tenancy and how best we can fit in the platform engineering ecosystem. Uh, talk a bit about how are you seeing community growing around because most of what Love does is open source or all of what you folks do is open source, uh, very close uh, association with the community. So talk a bit about how you're seeing the growth of the community because you're also part of the community itself around these open source projects. I think uh, the one thing I love about KubeCon, about the cloud native ecosystem is the community. And as for my role, I always see uh, that I have to educate people. I need to educate people about the product, about the tool, about the problem that it is trying to solve. So whenever I have the conversations, I always start off with, this is the problem and this is how we are trying to solve it using vCluster. Or this is a problem and this is how we are trying to solve using DevPod. 
So yes, as you as you mentioned, uh, Loft has a lot of open source tooling. Uh, we have V cluster, we have DevPod, which is the co open source code spaces. And the interesting thing is we have grown over the time. I think uh, the numbers would be around uh, 35 or 3,800 plus on Slack. Uh, we have over 9K GitHub stars on DevPod and 6.5K plus on uh, vCluster that shows the love uh, that the community shows for the projects. But overall, at Loft, um, I still want to accelerate things. I still want to, you know, uh, grow things at an exponential rate because we want to grow and educate people more and more. Uh, because now the day one problem is is almost solved. Like people have and people know how to provision the Kubernetes clusters. The problem comes with the day two when they have too many Kubernetes clusters and their resource uh, the resources get wasted. Sorry, the resources get wasted and the costs are blooming up. So how we cluster coming in? <coughs> How we cluster coming in, saving your cost, um, making sure you are utilizing the Kubernetes clusters to full capacities, and uh, solving the multi-tenancy challenges, fitting well into the uh, platform engineering space. Uh, so that is what, uh, as part of my role, uh, I am creating more and more set of programs, and uh, we are putting in, uh, investing in a lot of these conferences, a lot of local meetups, platform engineering meetups, webinars, and making sure that we are trying uh, reaching the right audiences uh, for this education of the platform engineering and multi-tenancy using B cluster. How do you envision the community is further growing? Where it is heading next? Yeah, I think we want to, uh, like I said, we want to rise in the numbers. We want to increase our presence. Uh, like we recently hired a developer advocate. We are also, we'll be like accelerating in the hiring as well. We'll be hiring one more in different region. Uh, so we want to build region wise presence. So we have, um, content and we are creating or generating a lot of educational content around the same space uh, and how people can learn from it and actually use them in the enterprises because it is open source one of the key factors that drive and which is easy for me is that it is open source and people do not hesitate to adopt it people do not hesitate to uh, try it out so whenever someone comes to the booth uh, they hear oh yeah yeah multi tenancy is good uh, oh yeah v cluster oh, is it open source yes it is open source and then they go back they try out and then they come yeah we tried this out and these are some of the problems and then they go to the slack and they try ask questions and we are very much into helping them out uh, so what i want next is trying to understand more where the challenges are for the community to adopt v cluster and then bridging them like a proper devrel does and then taking them back to the leadership team that these are the challenges and how we can fix it uh, and how we can get them more features so that they get excited to even try it out and push it push the boundaries create them come in as contributors themselves become the advocates for uh, vCluster. When we look at vCluster, you have vCluster open source, then we have vCluster Pro, and then you folks launch vCluster Cloud. I talked to Lucas just to understand this iteration. And going back to the open source, because that is your strength and that is your space as well, it's easy to get started with open source. And yes, you can help folks in Slack, but you know, a lot of folks, when they move to production, they want commercial support. So can you also talk about the, because I don't see a commercial versus open source or versus community. I see commercial and open source because you know, you can get it started, but you do need a throat to choke. You do need new features, functionalities, scaling. So also talk about that aspect of the community because I feel that is also part of the community. Those same community members, they become the, the customers. Exactly. And you're absolutely right. Uh, when we when we always talk about any any of the funnels, so my journey starts with the practitioners. Like this is a practitioner conference because here people are here to learn and implement, go back, implement stuff in their projects. So people go in, they have learned about V cluster. Now they go back and they try to implement. They start with the POC. They try to implement that, and that leads us to uh, overall uh, funnel where we have now a person asking for a V cluster Pro that has more feature like sleep mode or something else, and now they want to try it. They go to the 14-day trial license. They try it out, or they just try it out from the V cluster cloud. So they try it out. They are happy. Now they see. Okay, now we let let's take and take this a step forward. We want to implement this across our Kubernetes clusters. Get the enterprise support in so yes that is that's where these conferences help our education helps them learning about the tool then they go back experiment and keep moving a step ahead with the ladder until they implement that in their within their enterprise so yeah that part of community is really important 
Sanyam, once again, thank you so much for joining me today and talk about the whole community side of not only Lord, but also KubeCon is all about community. Thanks for sharing those great insights as usual. And I look forward to talk to you again soon. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Swapnil, for having me. And I love uh, coming back here. So I'll be back soon.